Dr. Gundry here with another episode of everyone's favorite super food or super fad. Super food or super fad. Today I want to talk about a smoothie bar favorite, a sweet treat that's the darling of the health blogger community. We're talking about Asahi. So what's the skinny on Asahi? Is it a super food or a super fat? Well, if you've been watching my videos since the beginning, you already know the answer. Asahi is not a health food at all. Believe it or not, it's a super fat. Let me explain. Asahi's superfood reputation is built on one thing, its high polyphenol content. And yes, Asahi is pretty high in polyphenols and has some incredible health-promoting properties because of that polyphenol count. See, polyphenols are true powerhouses in the fight against oxidative stress, meaning polyphenols can help keep your body strong and healthy as you age. It's the reason so many of my top-selling formulas contain loads of polyphenols. But there's one thing you won't see in any of my formulas, and it's actually the reason that Asahi is such a danger to your health. See, when it comes to Asahi, all those benefits are virtually canceled out by one thing, sugar. Believe it or not, the average Asahi bowl at your local smoothie shop contains between 20 and 65 grams of added sugar. For reference, a scoop of cookies and cream ice cream has 20 grams of added sugar. And a king-size Snickers, yep, the big one, has about 45 grams of added sugar. Yeah, your healthy Asahi bowl can have as much sugar as dessert. And even with the polyphenols from Asahi trying to support your health, all that sugar can truly drag you down, leading to elevated cholesterol, liver issues, blood sugar trouble, weight gain, and more. When it comes to staying healthy and living a nice long life, sugar is truly the enemy, which is why acai is truly a super fad and not a super food. But okay, if acai is off limits, how can you get enough polyphenols? Well, like I mentioned earlier, many of my supplements, including Vital Reds and Power Blues, are loaded with polyphenols. And you can also get them from low sugar foods like leafy greens, coffee, and bittersweet chocolate. Plus, in the summer, when berries are in season, they're a great source of polyphenols as well. Just make sure to treat any in-season fruit like dessert and eat it in moderation. Super food or super fat? On today's episode, I'm here to talk about a fruit you've probably seen at your local health food store. Goji berries. Goji berries have some of the most brilliant marketing teams behind them, and for a while it seemed like they were in every trendy health food, from granola bars to smoothies. So you'd think they were a super food, right? Wrong. In my opinion, goji berries are one of the biggest super fads out there. Here's why. For one, they're a member of the nightshade family, along with other gut-upsetting foods like tomatoes and peppers. And like many nightshade fruits, goji berries, also known as wolf berries, are incredibly high in lectins. Now, if you've been around this channel for a while, you likely know what lectins are. But here's a quick reminder. Lectins are a pesky little protein found in certain plants, and they can do serious damage to your digestive system, leaving it weak and leaving you vulnerable to serious health issues. And nightshades are especially lectin-heavy, which is enough reason for me to suggest avoiding fruits like goji berries. But if you want more reasons, they're also incredibly high in sugar, which is bad news for your waistline. And they're rich in a compound called atropine. And consuming too much atropine could actually make you seriously ill. That's why in my book, goji berries are actually one of the biggest health scams out there and a total super fat. If I were you, I'd avoid them. Super food or super fat? In today's episode, I'm here to talk about everyone's favorite high-protein grain, quinoa. 
So, what's the deal with quinoa? And is it a superfood or a super fat? Well, first, let's set the record straight. Quinoa isn't technically a grain at all. It's a seed. It's related to the amaranth plant and was originally from the Andes region of South America, where it's been eaten in various forms for thousands of years. And starting in the early 2000s, quinoa started to take the U.S. by storm, showing up in health food stores and trendy restaurant menus all over the country. People loved it because quinoa is a filling, high-protein food that's easy to cook and gluten-free. So it's no wonder people went nuts for quinoa. But here's the thing about this super seed. In my opinion, despite all its benefits, quinoa isn't a superfood at all. It's a super fad. Here's why. Despite being gluten-free, quinoa is still really high in lectins, those pesky little proteins that do serious damage to your gut wall and lining. Some quinoa is also super high in saponins, a lectin-like substance that's been shown to seriously irritate the gut. It's mostly on the outside of the seed and is often washed off during processing. But people who are really super saponin sensitive will still have a hard time with quinoa. Quinoa is also an oxalate-rich food. Now, I'm not going to say don't eat oxalate-rich foods, some of the healthiest foods on the planet including leafy greens, are pretty oxalate heavy. But for people concerned about their oxalate intake, quinoa is a good food to avoid. Now, if that weren't enough to convince you that quinoa is not the superfood it's made out to be, here's one other thing. The native people who traditionally rely on quinoa as a dietary mainstay are having an increasingly hard time affording the crop because more and more of it is being sold to the U.S., rather than being set aside for people who really need it. So, no matter how you slice it, unfortunately, quinoa is a super fad, not a super food that food marketing companies make it out to be. Meaning, it's something that should stay off your plate and out of the kitchen cupboards. Super food or super fad? And today I want to talk about a food that's showing up everywhere. I've even seen it sold as crispy snacks, as a creamy spread, even as pasta. I'm talking about chickpeas, also known as garbanzo beans. These beans have been a vegetarian staple for years, and they're really trendy right now. So what's the story about chickpeas? Are they a super food or a super fat? Well, this one's going to disappoint a lot of folks who rely on chickpeas for protein. Because for the most part, those chickpea-based processed foods, and even most canned chickpeas, are a super fat. Yep, they're versatile, delicious, and a good source of plant-based protein. But they're also incredibly high in lectins, those tiny proteins that can do serious damage to your gut. I'll link to more information about lectins in my description below. Now, there is a workaround for the lectin content in chickpeas, and I'll talk more about that in a second. But first, I want to talk about why people consider chickpeas a superfood. I think you'll agree, some of this is pretty compelling. Like many beans, chickpeas are high in protein and slow digesting fiber. That makes them optimal for keeping you filled up and satisfied and for keeping digestion on point. They're also rich in minerals, including magnesium, iron, and folate. So if you do want to add chickpeas to your diet, can you do it safely? Absolutely. But like I said, skip the chickpea pasta, the crunchy garbanzo snacks, and store-bought hummus. Instead, soak dried chickpeas in two to three changes of water, then pressure cook them. It's a great way to neutralize the majority of the lectins. From there, go ahead and make hummus, or toss them in olive oil and roast them for a crispy snack. A pressure cooker is a great way to turn this super fad back into a super food safely. Your taste buds and your gut will thank you. One last thing. Make sure to let me know in the comments below what superfood you want to learn more about next. And don't forget to like this video if you've learned something new and subscribe for more food and health related tips, 
and tricks. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.